Yep, let's do it. All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Reaction Extraction. Today, Ultravox. We did Vienna. Do you mm-hmm. remember that tune? Mm-hmm. It was uh, definitely a standout. Different. Uh, different, yeah, or- orchestral elements, piano. So we started with that, and I th- you did like that. Yeah. Different. Kind of polarizing. Exactly. Today we're going to do Dancing with Tears in My Eyes, which contrast with Vienna is kind of more of a straightforward synth pop mm-hmm. tune, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know they played it at Live Aid. This might have been the first song I heard because, you know, with, I'm 51. So bands that really great bands that came out in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, I was really young, so I didn't discover them till a few years later. So like 1984 was kind of my wheelhouse of starting with music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, going back and discovering some great bands as a young kid. And Ultravox was one, introduced to them by my cousin. And uh, Dancing with Tears in My Eyes was the first song I heard, and I was just like blown away, loved it. And uh, of course, Vienna was great too, but they have many great tunes, UK band. And uh, let's let's dive into this one and see what you think. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Nineteen eighty four, dude.
second. Culture Rock's turn. Hmm. All right, you go first. Uh, compare that with Vienna. Which one did you like better? I mean, I think this one's obviously better. Uh, I mean, oh. Vienna was good. Um, definitely some experimentation going on there, and mm -hmm. uh, it's a good song. Uh, I think this is more um, easy to digest for sure yeah. for the average listener. Uh, I think the standout is with um, Ultravox is like their instrumentation yeah. and how they bring along like the guitars and synths and how they incorporate, you know, piano melodies within the song itself. Uh, I think the chorus is really good. Yeah. Um, wasn't a big fan of like the verses. Yeah. Um, it's kind of stale, but the chorus makes up for it. Yeah. But it's a good song. Okay. Fab. Good info. I agree with you. The chorus stands out. Uh, okay, I want to be nice. Because I, I really like Vienna. I like Ultravox. This song, I don't think, um, has stood up as well mm -hmm. through time, I don't think. Yeah. It really seemed more bombastic when I was younger. Yeah. Uh, and it really, really stood out to me. Today kind of fell a little flat. Yeah, I mean, it, it is older, know. so... Yeah. It, you're talking about just the way it sounds? Yeah, overall, like the mix. it didn't quite have the punch. The mix, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's just with time, you know. You can't fix that. Yeah, some things stand up through time. Some don't. And I'm going to put Dancing with Tears in My Eyes, even though it's an amazing song, mm -hmm. as uh, maybe it hasn't held up as well. Uh, through the years, but great band. Midjury has a really interesting voice, also. Yeah. Ultravox overall interesting place in you know in UK music. Over here, you know, kind of a lukewarm reception for them. Yeah, yeah. You know, these are definitely more uh, hits outside the US. Uh, although, you know, Dancing with Tears in My Eyes, they did play it Live Aid, and it has really good elements to it. I'm kind of disappointed, honestly. Really? Yeah, I'm disappointed. I do see what you uh what you're referring to. I was listening and like a lot of the low end is missing. Yeah. Uh, I think that's really what like I couldn't even hear the kick drum if there was a kick drum. Right. Um with the snare and so uh, there's just certain elements in there and like like I said the verse it's just it's not hitting. It, it's yeah. It's too stale, it's too whatever. But um yeah, I'm kind of bummed. I remember this as a really classic great tune. But the and chorus is really good. May have went on a little longer than it needed to <laughs> at the end, you know, saying the same four words over and over again. But yeah, it, it's still really good in my eyes. And um, yeah, I'm glad I glad I got to hear it. All right. Good. So would you would you like this better or Vienna? I have to hear Vienna again. Oh, Vienna. Probably Vienna. You know what? Look, me, th this one's too. good. But if you're going to listen to it over and over again, like. I think you're right. I would take Vienna. I feel like it would get old real quick. Yeah. Okay. Ultravox. Interesting compare and contrast. Uh, kind of surprised me today. Um, I'm going to say uh, not really one of my favorite Ultravox songs anymore. Yeah. Which I'm allowed to do that, right? Mm-hmm. You know, artists, sometimes things move up, things move down. But Ultravox, Dancing with Tears in My Eyes, uh, classic tune. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Good well, input, man. Thanks for checking this video out with us. We hope you enjoyed. Like we said, go check out the other Ultravox um, video we have on the channel, and we will see you in the next video. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode. We'll do more Ultra Rocks in the future. I think they're just an interesting band. And uh, we'll see you next time on the show. Thank you.